The Rangers will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Takes it to the net. Here he is, wrists it on them. And that carries off a body in traffic. Takes the feet at the back end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Michael's got it in the defensive end. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Moves it to Truba. And sends it just out of reach. Quick feed to Michael. Anaheim's on the attack. The Rangers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Trocek. Poked away and scored by Niskanen. in this frame. Still no score in this one. Anaheim's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Back at the point, he's set it up. Scores! The captain comes through! Well, it's gonna be a quick release that gets it done here, James, but I'm more impressed with him getting to position. You gotta fight to get to those areas. It's tough in there, you pay the price, and because he does, he scores a goal. Anaheim's got the game's first goal here in the first, and perfect road approach, right? Silence the crowd, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and you gotta start with some energy, and you gotta get your lines into the game right away, and that's exactly what they did. They are like a wave of momentum, and they capitalize on their opportunity. Slides it across to Brodzinski, and a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Kako. Slides it diagonally to Schneider, and that goes off the iron and stays out. The Rangers bench showing some frustration there as they hit the post. Listen, when you're only down in the game by a little bit, you have to find a way to claw your way back in. But there's a perfect chance right there to give them some momentum. What a chance here! Oh, what a goal! They score the rush! Wow! away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Ducks win the draw. Quick pass to Enroth. From the right side, moves it up ahead. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. Drills them. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Monster save by Benetov. Jostled off the puck. Feeds it over. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Oh, and that 
that battle ends as the puck gets loose. And Ross taking it from his own end. Tippett's gaining momentum. And they continue to apply pressure here. The Rangers are across the line and into the offensive end. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Rossi's been under a lot of pressure and distractions while there's been talks about his contract extension. But now that it's done and the agents have shored it up, he can be free. He can play his game and get rid of all that stuff in his head. Moves the puck over to Darlene. Moves along the boards with some purpose. From the point, looks to make something happen. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Pokes it away in his own end. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Let's get the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. The Ducks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And he takes the pass. And he slides it quickly to Champion. And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides it across. Still keeps a hold of it. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Now a quick pass to Johns. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Richards wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Passes it over! And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Oh, wow, another great stop! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Carrick's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. Nash is stick handling in his own zone. Anaheim's playing it through center. Michael's got it in the offensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Into the corner now. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. The Ducks move to the offensive zone. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Tremendous save by Shesterkin. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James, when the puck is on his... So go ahead, goal, and a big one at that. Well, they really take advantage with the extra attacker here, James. I love that there is a double threat on this power play. They can shoot, they can move the puck, which makes their opponent vulnerable. Great conversion. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. The Ducks must be feeling good about their game right now. Up by one here in the late goings of the first. Well, in their practices, they've been working on getting shots through to the net. And mission accomplished. They have been firing pucks from all areas of the ice, dominating in that area. Sends a pass over. New York's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside the road end. With some open space at center. Moves it quickly over to Capo. Loses his balance on the play. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Taken along the wall by Cooley. And there's a blocker stop by Fedotov. And he slides it quickly to Johns. He 
and carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Cooley. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Niskanen. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Rocks him on the play. Zadina's looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Feeds the puck to Richards. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Richards. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. The Rangers play it along the boards. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. And they keep the pressure on. And it's a quick pass to Brink. And Ross been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Let's get the official decision. You're trailing by one, and you take a penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And some good footwork to kick it away. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Richards is getting booed every time he steps on the ice, and that's a result of injuring the hometown player, and the crowd's not going to let him forget it. Heedle's got the puck. Here's a shot! Turns it away! Truba's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Anaheim's won the draw and they'll go to work. Anaheim's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position, and once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Carrick's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Anaheim's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Dishes it off. A little banging and crashing now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Anaheim's got the puck. And the puck's knocked loose. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Can't keep a hold of it. Inside the final minute of the first here. The Ducks have it now. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. On the loss from the blue line. There's a chance in front. And a new pass. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Poked away in the offensive end. And he gets in front of that. Lindgren's moving the puck through his own zone. Puts it in deep. The Ducks gain possession. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Smith's penalty is almost expired. And he hangs on just this time runs out. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Hey, fans, great tickets are still available to our next home. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. cirkin has been the only reason that this game is close, James. I mean, they have been under siege. There's been shots coming from everywhere, and the defense in front of them aren't doing anything to clear rebounds. They need to shore this up if they want to get back in this game. He's the reason it's so close. Oh, they score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels. The 
been getting two in a row, back to back. Here they come. Well, the goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Anaheim's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's totally. going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. From the right side, they gain the zone. New York's got the puck. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Make a change. Make a change. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Moves the puck along the half wall. Lindgren's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Hedl. Poked away in the defensive end. Silverberg's lugging the puck. Takes the feed from the wing. And that's broken up. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, here we go. Big time stop. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. The Ducks lead this one early in the second period. They have certainly had a lot of jump offensively tonight. possession here in their own end. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. The Rangers have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance! And he gets just enough to keep it out. Oh, a lucky break for the shooter as it goes off the inside of the iron and stays out. Anaheim's been working hard and have put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game, and that's the reason they have the lead. They wanted to extend the cushion, but unfortunately, bad luck on their side, or maybe it, it was good positioning by the goaltender, but nonetheless, it goes off the post and out. And he takes the feed. Quick feed to Panarin. And he loses control of the puck. And now it's over to Johns. Coming to the front of the net. Great stop by Shesterkin. Anaheim's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. And lowers the boot with a big time hit. Oh, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Moves it quickly over to Sabina. Stopped by the goaltender. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. the midway mark in this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. The Ducks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Miller. Sends it over to Trocek. Takes the pass. And he shuts the door on that. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. 
Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Off a stick. Trying to shake the defender. He's in. All alone. What a save. That's how you do it. That's a great save by the goaltender. Really quick, James. Anticipates quick movements to be able to prevent that deep from going in. Big time stop there. And the puck's booted away. Battle along the boards. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Looks to pass it to Darlene. There's a firm collision. And a great save. So Serkins made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. The Ducks continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. New York's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Slides the puck over. Receives the pass. And he makes the save. Pinned up along the boards. Good check free. Feeds it over. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was dead. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. I love that he fights to get tight to the net here, and it's all about accuracy and a quick release. It's not about how hard it is, and he doesn't miss. their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's an odd man rush. He says, let's get physical on that play. So Serkin's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will, your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Quick pass over to Nash. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Nice block. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Change it up. Change up. And that's poked away by Fitzgerald. And now he moves it quickly to Brodzinski. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. 
Well, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on the stick. Too much traffic in the lane. Zadina's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles so and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Sneaks by the poke check. Takes the shot. Good save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Truba's the one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone faceoff. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. The Rangers ready to go on the attack. Makes the good stop. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it for the good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Anaheim's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Big save just as time runs out. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Champions getting called for two minutes here by the officials. take to the ice for the first time tonight. Seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. The Ducks win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. And he takes the dish. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. And that slides right out to center ice. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Anaheim's got it across the line. Denies him! In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Michael's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. New York's got the win off that draw. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck move back to the neutral zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. From off the wall and onto a stick. Now he slides it up to Panarin. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Works it across to Sabinashad. Lays into the body. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. New York's gained possession along the boards. Here they come. Quick pass to Heedle. A chance in front, and he rings the post. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Silverberg's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. Handles the puck. Coughs it up on the play. Grabs the puck here in their own end. In all alone on the breakaway. It's a timely save, and it's going to generate a ton of momentum for his team here, but he's so composed, he's patient, and just steers the puck aside. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Off the draw, they take possession. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big time stop there. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Strong defensive effort. Just gets enough to keep it out. Moves it to Silverberg. 
Anaheim's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Sabinajad's got the puck along the wing. Takes a shot! And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Tippett's got the puck in his own zone. The Ducks played along the wing. Cross ice pass, and that's off a stick. Picked up along the boards by Miller. The Rangers are in transition. Along the half wall with the puck. Slides it across. Turns it aside with the glove. Through center along the wing. Shakes up, come on. Moves it around along the half wall. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Anaheim's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he was ready for that save. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the feet in front, and that's stopped. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Anaheim showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The Ducks win the faceoff. Stopped by Shesterkin. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Ducks are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that snapped away in the defensive end by Schneider. Oh, The Ducks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Rossi's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Looks to get the puck over to Lafreniere. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Nice zone entry from the left. He got all of that one. The Ducks have it in the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Quick pass across to Lafreniere. And he slides it quickly to Smith. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Niskanen. Get out of there. Takes the feed. Here they come on the attack. Shot. Makes a save. Anaheim sliding the puck behind the net. And he gets a glove on it to keep it at bay. Shesterkin's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Washington's up next, and no love lost between these two sides. A few tickets still available, I'm told, so you better get them before they're gone. Caught into the glove by Shesterkin. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Ducks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Champions won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And that's stuck by Shesterkin. It does the pass. Oh, a save of the play! Oh, he's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Tonight on the play, whoa! Oh, you don't practice that one in goalie Justin James. You just have to have fight and compete to get to that puck. He has all of it. He makes the save. The Ducks have continued to put lots of pucks on net, and they lead it here in the third. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Passes it over. He scores. And someone's heating up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight. James is showing off his skill set. 
I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James, as the puck's below the goal line. You can see him moving to make himself available. And then right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick, he lets it go for the tally. Anaheim's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. And that's off the stick. New York's got the puck in center. Ray Hughes from the left wing off the middle now. Knocked around, but keeps it going. I'm not sure if he was ready for that hit, James, because he went down in a hurry, and it was hard. Now he's late, and he's really struggling to get back to the bench where the trainers are waiting for him. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Puck skips into the bench, and we'll get a reset. Let's have another look at that hit there, James. I mean, he looks shaken up. Getting some assistance here by the medical staff, James, and this is a tough one to watch as he makes his way down the tunnel to the locker room where he'll be assessed. He's just hopping there. He can't put any weight on that one leg. Cheryl, I'm not a doctor, and I will say this, though. It is very evident that this is a leg injury, and he is going to need some medical attention here. Dishes it off! Takes the feed at the point. Nice zone entry from the middle. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Well, he's got the puck on his stick now, and you know he's looking for the hat trick, James. Sends one up to Capo. Into the offensive end now. Great reach with the poke check by Darlene. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Zone face off. 